Feral Interactive have just updated XCOM 2 to version 1.4.6. Today we're going to have an in-depth look at what Feral Interactive have improved. Pause the video now for a list of supported devices for XCOM 2 on iPhone and iPad. This update has not necessarily added any new content. If you were hoping for the multiplayer mode to be here, or maybe controller support, this is not what is on offer. Instead, this is a quality of life update. The most significant part of this update is the new optimization options. Before version 1.4.6, players would have no options to change any graphic settings in XCOM 2. This was disappointing, as graphically, the game didn't look as visually impressive as the PC or console version. The iOS version presented the lowest resolution textures and model detail, and shadow and lighting and overall contrast was lower in quality on iOS too. Overall, it just looked a bit washed out. This has now all changed, as Feral have added three new optimization options performance, graphics, and energy saving. Performance mode provides a higher frame rate, but outputs at a slightly lower graphical quality to achieve this performance. The frame rate is going to vary from device to device. Some will get 40 plus FPS, some 30, and so forth. Energy saving mode reduces power consumption and heat output. You won't see as many FPS drops due to reduced thermal throttling and your battery will last significantly longer. This mode will also lower the frame rate quite considerably to keep the overall performance stable. Please note, this option is not available on iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 10 or iPad 7th Gen 2019. Graphics mode provides the best visual fidelity for each supported device. The colors are much more vibrant now. The environment shadows are much better. Foliage quality is a tiny bit better. Textures are higher resolution. For example, you can make out the text on guns now. And I believe the game now has depth of field. Playing the game at a higher graphics quality comes with a sacrifice though. This mode appears to have a 30 FPS cap. I don't really care about this, as XCOM 2 does not benefit from a really high frame rate, and I much prefer to play this game with higher graphics. But you guys may have a different opinion. This mode is only available on iPhone XS, XS Max, all iPhones since iPhone 11, iPad Air 2020, and all iPad Pros released since 2018. There is one thing still missing though, and that is unit shadows. Units without shadows, in my opinion, looks quite jarring when other elements in the scene now have shadows, or better quality shadows. I'd say maybe this mode is pushing the most out of these systems in terms of their gaming potential, but I'm really hoping Feral maybe update the game for the M1 iPad Pro, even if the total size of the game has to expand. Another important new feature is updates to the design of the camera elevation marker. Previously, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I could not work out how to make units climb ladders or reach rooftops, but Really, I wasn't looking close enough because on the right side of the screen, in the middle, there was a camera elevation marker. You could use this to go up and down, well, the camera elevation, but it was small and easy to miss and didn't register to many as a way to actually change the camera elevation. This new design is much better. It is larger on screen and Feral have added a ladder icon and up and down arrows to clearly show what this slider is for. Look, it's a small feature, but actually makes a world of difference, at least for me anyway. Feral have also updated mouse and keyboard support. The keyboard did work before, 
but now keyboard shortcuts have been fixed. The game will also now detect when you have a mouse connected. However, mouse support isn't working just yet. While mouse support is supported in iOS 14, Feral told me XCOM 2 has its own protocols, so this control method is not officially supported. I'm hoping they work out a way to update this in the future, because recently Definity Original Sin 2 came to iPad, and it has official mouse support and works just like the PC version. What do you think of this new update? Has it improved on any areas that you were disappointed by? What do you want Feral to add to the game next? Controller support? Multiplayer? 60 FPS support? Let me know in the comments. Regardless, XCOM 2 on iPhone and iPad is a great accomplishment, and these performance and graphical improvements are worth talking about. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name is Stewie, and thanks for watching.